the fact that when I was overseas, I felt important. I was doing something important, no matter how little that task was that day. Um, when I came home, things became very difficult. I felt empty. I do not know you, but I am your brother. You do not know me, but I am your protector. I will run into a burning building to save your life. Though I do not know your name, I will take a bullet for you. Though we've never met, I, I believe, believe in, in duty, duty and, and sacrifice, sacrifice of self. self. Your, your family, family is my family. Is my family. Your life is my duty. What's going on, guys? Time for another episode of Behind the Uniforms. You all know the series by now. We sit down and we chat with men and women who are first responders, veterans, and we ask them to tell the stories behind their uniforms so that we could show that at the end of the day, they're just like us. They want to serve their countries and then go home to their families. So without further ado, tell them who you are. My name's Nick. I did uh, four years in the Marine Corps, one tour in Afghanistan, 2012 to 2013. So it was nice and quiet, 2012. It's fairly quiet. <laughs> I'm sure that you've uh, had quite the experiences over there. A few. Talk to me about, first of all, first and foremost, why. Why you decided to become a Marine. Well, I figured it was my, uh, my time to go and uh, signed up when I was 22, actually. Uh, a little late, but everyone should do it, I think, you know. It's an experience of a lifetime. So the way that we typically work this is we ask guys, ladies, to tell us about a good day and a bad day. Where do you want to start? Well, first off, I'll, I'll state that I do have PTSD, and there are good days, there are bad days. Um, my form of PTSD, you know, I, it's not so much combat related for me. It's the fact that when I was overseas, I felt important. I was doing something important, no matter how little that task was that day. Um, when I came home, things became very difficult. I felt empty. You know, a lot of veterans are like, yeah, I'll go back in a heartbeat. That's because that, that feeling inside is you feel important. And when I came home, I didn't have that anymore. How, how do you deal with that? Well, different days call for different things. Sometimes I just have to set a small goal for the day, you know, even if it's just getting out of bed. Um, the real tough days, it's tough to get out of bed. Um, the good days, I'm up and at it and doing everything I normally do. What would be your message to people who don't understand this? If you don't understand, I mean, it's hard to understand if you've never had the feeling. Um, even a smile at somebody who just looks down can, can make a world of difference. Um, I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard. Talk to me about a good experience you had when you were over there. Good experience is, it's, it's the brotherhood. That's the best thing I can, I can think of right now is you, you have that bond with your brothers and sisters that are over there with you. You're all in the same place doing the same thing. And uh, you all understand each other. It's just a great feeling. What were some of the challenges you faced? I know we talked through the, the constant shift in 2012, 2013 regarding rules of engagement. What, uh, what were some of the challenges? Um, obviously the rules of engagement, like you said, um, getting, I was a generator mechanic, so getting parts was actually pretty difficult. Um, you know, it took two, three weeks to get a generator up and going and Jeez. so, uh, you'd have to live without that for a little bit, but it wasn't all that bad, um, in my scenario. When you think about what America means to you. It's America. What, do, what else is there to say? I mean... It's the best country in the world, um, and I, I would bleed on that flag to keep it red. I mean, we were talking through earlier about some of the challenges that we see with the younger generation now, and not like we're an old generation by no, any means, but even not. even within our own generation, right. uh, I think that we've got some real challenges. When you see uh, when you see people disrespecting the flag, as a veteran, how do you process that? It's almost insulting um i would have i did sign the contract to give my life to keep that flag high in the air and when i see people disrespecting it it's i take it personally you know um it's just a hard thing to see and i i don't care for it at all if i see it happening in front of me i will stop it at all costs 
we're supposed to have the guy, did you see the FedEx guy who no. put out that? So FedEx <coughs> driver saw an American flag being burned by all of these snowflakes and he yeah. got out and he took the fire extinguisher and he put it out and he grabbed that flag, he was a veteran. And the picture is a shot of him walking away and he's got the flag and the fire extinguisher and you just see the the smoke and it is the most amazing <laughs> hero shot of it. And it said, you know, he's got his FedEx shirt right on. Yeah. And a lot of people were upset by that and they said, he needs to be fired for that. He was interfering. And FedEx, to their credit, turned around and said, no, nah, that's a patriot right there. Yeah. And they kept him. And I'll tell you, man, I'll, like FedEx has my business for life. As That and the United States Postal Service can't deliver anything without destroying it, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> but I think the, uh, the idea that patriotism is alive and well in guys like you is such an important message for us to keep drilling home because patriotism yes. isn't about running around in the streets wearing vagina knit hats. <laughs> Uh, patriotism is about being willing to fight for your country and die for your country and stand up for your yeah. beliefs. So, and another thing I will add is it's it's not me that I take it personally. It's all the men and women before me that gave their lives to keep that flag in the air. That's another huge thing. That just throughout all the wars and all our 200 years, 250 years of history, you know, lots and lots, millions upon millions of people gave their lives for that flag. And that's, that's a huge deal. It's the greatest form of patriotism. Absolutely. Brother, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. No problem. Guys, it's gonna take you two seconds to hit the share button on this video to help really bring the stories behind the uniforms to light. So thank you all so much and God bless America.